bit of talking FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys it's time for Barcelona once again to return to the field because coming up is a trip to Balaidos Celta Vigo await and this one it is always a tricky game but with no margin for error and with Kike Setien under real pressure to play the kids they played so so well against Athletic and so will we see them in the lineup tomorrow the full match preview and exactly how Barca should line up it's coming up today. Let's get to it. Because kickoff will be coming to us at the earlier time of 5 p.m. local time there, live from Galicia. And it's the first afternoon kickoff since football has returned for Barcelona because all of our games so far have been at 10 p.m. local time. And I'm sure this earlier kickoff here will be quite a relief for so many of you around the world. And here, guys, are the kickoff times wherever you may be to stay involved with this one. Elsewhere in La Liga, across the weekend, Real Madrid once again will be in action after we play so we have a chance again to put that pressure on and they're going to be facing a trip to Barcelona not to play us though it's Espanyol that await at the RCDE Stadium in the final game on Sunday and although in usual circumstances we're used to as Barcelona fans Espanyol rolling over for Real Madrid and I mean really over the years at times it seems as though Espanyol honestly really couldn't care less how many Real Madrid put past them but in this situation they're at the bottom of the table they're desperate for points they are struggling to stay in this league and for that reason they can't just allow Real Madrid to have the easy three points this time around and it may be one there just to keep an eye on. As for the league table, Real Madrid's victory over Mallorca on Wednesday sees them return there to the top of the league on the head-to-head -head record. And that there leaves the title race very finely poised, heading there into round 32 with both teams on 68 points and with just seven games of the season to go. But like I said before, we've got so much to play for still. There's still 21 points that are going to be on offer. And every single game now, we've got to go into it. We've got to take care of our job, do our business on the pitch, and hopefully put as much pressure on the shoulders of Real as possible. In terms of Celta Vigo though, as I said in the intro, this is always a tricky game there heading to Galicia. But as you can see, they do find themselves once again this season at the wrong end of the table. And there's no denying really though, with the talent they have and the way they really can play, they shouldn't be anywhere near the position they're in right now. They shouldn't be anywhere near those relegation places. And for that reason, as we've seen over the years, it is never ever going to be an easy game. And I think you can very much see that that is so well in illustrated when you look there at the previous meetings at Belidos between Barcelona and Celta Vigo. As a Barcelona fan, it makes a pretty grim reading. We lost by two goals in the last season, a pretty convincing win there for Celta Vigo. Before that, our trips there ended in two successive draws. Before when you look back there to the 2015-2016, 4-3 and 4-1 at Belidos. They're not just beating us here, they're scoring goals too. And incredibly, we haven't actually beaten Celta at their home stadium since April of 2015, when, of course, Jeremy Mathieu's winning goal that day was a massive, massive goal in bringing us the title. And certainly this time around, the game could be just as important. And just as it does always seem to be the case in the teams that we're about to face, Celta Vigo just so happen to be hitting their best form of the season so far. What are the chances of that? Barcelona about to play somebody and they're hitting form at exactly the right time. They're unbeaten right now in their last three games. They've had back-to-back -back wins there against Alaves and a really impressive win as well away at Sociedad. But you look there at that win over Alaves. Six goals to nil. Celta this season have been really struggling in front of goal. But in that game and certainly beyond that now, they've got some confidence back with our very own Rafinha who's still contracted to the club scoring two brilliant goals against Alaves and he'll be a real threat for Celta come tomorrow. And to be honest, I think right the way through Celta Vigo's expected team here, you can see a real Barca feel amongst the players out there. Many of them have connections to the club. Starting there, of course, with the centre-back Jason Murillo, a loan signing for Barcelona previously, and actually a loan signing for Celta too, but he's made a really big impact at the heart of their defence alongside Aidu. He was absolutely brilliant in their recent win against Sociedad. In midfield here, they're going to have two sitting in midfield. Beltran is a really, really impressive player. And then, of course, the attacking, the flair players 
in that team. Denny Suarez permanently gone to sell to now, of course, and Rafinha, like I say, out on loan. But both of those right now in very, very good form. There's Aspas, who's going to play, I feel, just in behind Smolov, the Russian striker, another player they brought in on loan. But the Barca connections don't stop there either, because off the bench, we may well see their emergency signing, much like in the way we signed Braithwaite. Celta have managed to bag themselves Nolito midway through the season, and of course they're led here by their head coach, who's set to sign an extended contract with Celta, Oscar Garcia, who's a very, very highly respected coach, learned the Barcelona way. He has a lot of the principles that we look for in a coach. And I think Celta Vigo here, they're building now. They're back on the right track. And as you can see, they've got some good players. But in terms of Barcelona coming into this game, in terms of the team that we could line up with at Belaidos, one player that we will be without no question is Sergio Busquets, who will miss the game after he picked up there the yellow card which ruled him out of that game on Tuesday against Athletic, which isn't ideal. But at the same time, it does at least enforce there a bit of rest upon Sergio Busquets, who at 31 years old, he can't really be expected to play every minute of every game. And in particular, we do have to watch out with Atletico Madrid at home just around the corner. That's going to be coming there midweek next week. We have to be careful of the players who are just one booking away from suspension. You got there the likes of Longley would be a massive miss there against Atletico at centre-back. Junior Firpo, Rakitic, Vidal, two midfield players that we are going to need in that kind of game. And of course, Luis Suarez could miss Atletico if he does pick up a booking in this game. And it will be interesting to see whether any of those risks impact Setien's decisions coming into this game. Because for me here, when you are looking at the possible line that we could see from Kike Setien, and in particular what I would like to see on Saturday afternoon from Barcelona, I would start in goal here with Ter Stegen along the back line. You've got Albi, you've got Longley, Pique, Semedo. To be honest, if they're fit to play, which is questionable, the likes of Pique was suffering a little bit there against Athletic Club in the latter stages, but if they are fit, you would probably leave them there, given the fact that Barcelona right now are on a really good run defensively. We've had a real run here of clean sheets, which is quite unheard of for Barcelona of the season so for that reason if possible I would leave there that back four alone because we will need them to be strong against Celta Vigo into midfield there are more problems the likes of De Jong not going to be available I think Arthur Mello, given that everything right now that is happening with him he's either not going to be in the club's plans anymore or he's not going to be in the right frame of mind to be starting in a game of this magnitude and with Busquets suspended I think to be honest the midfield picks itself you've got Rakitic you've got Vidal and for me Pooch has to be there. It's not even a question. He's got to start in this game. He's shown the character. He's shown the quality against Athletic Club. And given the suspensions, given the injuries, give him a chance here. From the start, and I'm convinced he will shine again. Onto the forward line, of course, you've got Lionel Messi there. And much like Ricky Pooch and the impact that he had against Athletic Club, another man who, for me, has to start this game is Ansu Fati. Yes, there may not be suspensions. There may not be injuries, which make it easy to start him. But you've got to show some bravery here. If you're Kike Setien, put the faith in him. Reward him for what he did when he came off the bench there against Athletic. The important goals as well that he's got this season. And I would play him there off to the left-hand side, giving us that all important width. And then that final position there, that centre forward role, you could go with anybody. You could go there with Luis Suarez, with Antoine Griezmann, with Martin Braithwaite. Either of those three, I don't really mind, as long as it's only one. Once again, we shouldn't be seeing Suarez and Griezmann together. We shouldn't be seeing there two players trying to take up the same sort of spaces on the field. It doesn't work. We need Ansu, we need Messi. Then pick one centre forward. And for me, that team right there that has the quality, the balance, and the poise to beat Celta Vigo. Belaidos, a tough place to go. But give the youngsters a chance, put the faith in them, and they will repay you. And with the two teams discussed and the lineups in mind, let's now move on to the final stage here, the predictions. What are your thoughts going into this game? And I've had a good look there at what you guys have been saying. And I think you all, to be honest, recognise here the real difficulty tomorrow in not only going to play a team who are in form, who do have good players, but that history there. Going to Belaidos, it is going to be tough. Once again, we're not opting here for three plus goals. That can be unheard of on the channel. You guys there going for two goals going for one goal and even a few people opting there for Barcelona dropping points. We cannot afford to do that. There's no room for error in the title race. I'm going to go here with Barcelona 2, Celta Vigo 0. Could we get another clean sheet? That would be impressive. And if the youngsters play, I would love to see the likes of Ansu Fati, maybe even Ricky Butch, 
get in on the score sheet. Let's wait and see what happens. Stay up to date with everything. Right here, guys. Not only now, of course, on Talk FCB, but also on my second channel too, More Talk FCB. You can find the link down below, and I will have the full lineup reaction prior to the game coming there on More Talk FCB. It's all getting exciting as Barcelona play Celta, and hopefully from Seti N, we'll see bravery in his lineup. I'll also have his words in full coming up later today. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support as always. But until next time, as always, Vizca, the El Barca. Oh,